Uh, my name's Liam, and this is my uh, builder's van, um, and now camper van. So, this is my uh, Sprinter van. It's a, quite an older model, but it is what it is. It's quite rusty, but I'm dealing with that. Uh, the inside is uh, not quite complete, and the outside is far from complete. As you can see, uh, it's half painted on the outside. <coughs> anyway, a bit of a tour of an inside. So first of all, I'm going to show you the most important thing. Now this box here contains the toilet, so you take the lid off, and there you have a chemical toilet. This, this was originally uh, part of my boat, but I upgraded the boat one. We can move this in here. So this is the most, one of the most recent additions, actually. Um, all I need to do is box it off and try and make it match the rest of the interior and I think I've done a reasonably good job with that so uh, mainly for uh, my daughter's use um, as I tend to just go out into the wild and do my business so amongst other things uh, recently I fitted a diesel heater which is uh, the controls are just here so I just turn that on and I get five kilowatts of heat uh, supplied uh, from the unit in the back which is run on diesel obviously um, I don't need that quite on now. Um, it then it comes out of the vent at the bottom, as you can see, and that keeps this van absolutely toasty warm. Um, it is five kilowatts is probably overkill for uh, the size of the van, but the five kilowatts were cheaper. The bed is a standard double size, plenty of room uh, to stretch out. It's got a sprung mattress with a memory foam topper. And yeah, it's just a standard bed. Uh, it's obviously raised up and there's a garage area underneath that. I made this table, which folds down, which makes this into another bed uh, for an additional um, sleeping area. So here we have the kitchen area. Uh, in the kitchen area, I've got a solid wood worktop uh, with the nice bark detail. Storage, uh, four cupboards here, which still need some work. I need to put some shelves in so I can utilize that space a lot better. Uh, it's got a sink here. Uh, with a pump and underneath here is the fresh water and grey water tanks the grey water needs emptying um, again toilet roll holder towel rail um, these lights are temporary at the moment they're going to be lighting up the entire um, back area I just haven't had chance to do that yet but hopefully next week I'll do that so it's still a work in progress um, but it is making progress which is the main thing um, I still have plenty of jobs that need doing, um, but slow and steady. Um, I uh, live in this part time, I also have a boat which I live in part time, I'm sharing my time between the two. Um, I really enjoy this sort of uh, alternative lifestyle. We are in the depths of winter now, it, well it is January uh, in the UK so it is pretty cold. Um, the diesel heater does a, an amazing job at keeping it warm. I have packed this thing full of insulation um, so it retains its heat quite well. Uh, there are other things that I have done such as uh, made a reflectic cover for the window here as well as the side windows and windscreen uh, which again keeps it all, uh, keep, tra tra retains as much heat as possible. So. It is all going well, uh, it's all coming along uh, really good. Uh, the paint on the exterior will be finished when it's finished, but right now I'm enjoying the beat up van look on the outside and the uh, nice cottagey look on the inside. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your, uh, your support. 
uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon if you want to follow my channel please subscribe there are always updates going on um, also I have Instagram at Liam the Terrible where I post regular pictures uh, sometimes too many pictures um, of updates as and when I'm doing them so that makes more sense if you want to catch up almost live for YouTube for the longer videos to show progress again thank you very much I'll see you soon bye bye